one useful application of LLM is the extraction of structured data from unstructured data. You can get an LLM to read natural language, identify semantically important details such as names, dates, addresses, figures, and return them in a consistent structured format regardless of the source format. This can be especially useful when you have unstructured source material like chat logs, server logs, and conversation transcripts. Once you have structured data, you can send them to database or parse structured outputs in a code to automate workflows. In this tutorial, I will explain how to extract structured data in JSON and Pydentic class formats using LangJ. We will use open source LLM Llama 3 available through Grok as our data extractor. So without further ado, let's get started with the coding part. Right, so I have kept the total code for this tutorial in Jupyter Notebook. And at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted three main approaches which can be used to generate structured data using LLMs. So the first one is tool or function calling. In this one, we generally define functions and give those functions to LLM. The LLM will generate uh, arguments for those functions based on input data. And then those functions will be responsible for generating structured output based on the arguments generated by LLMs. So you will need to call those functions to generate structured outputs. The second one is JSON mode. So in this one, some LLMs are generally trained to output JSON data. The third one is a prompt based approach. And this is the commonly used approach where you specify LLM, the schema and how you want the output to be the particular format of the structured output, whether it's a JSON, XML and so on. So that's the third approach. And in this tutorial, I have covered JSON based approach, JSON mode approach and the prompting based approach. So first of all, over here, I am loading environment variables and I have kept the environment variables in .env file in the current directory as this Jupyter notebook. And I have only one environment variable over there, which is the Grok API key. So we will be using Grok to access our LLMs. For that, you need to go to this URL console.grok.com log into this url and then you can go to api section from here you need to click on create api key and create a new api key that you will be keeping in environment file as environment variables and grok currently provides uh, these four models llama 3 8 billion llama 3 70 billion mixtral 8x 7b and the gamma 7 billion so these four models are currently available and for our tutorial we will use this one llama 3 8 billion version so in order to access uh, grok api and the llama 3 model i have used a chat open ai wrapper which is available from langchain underscore open ai now this uh, class is generally designed to access open ai but you can use it to access grok or any other api as well because all llm providers have almost same api so in api key you can provide the grok api key the base url i have set to the grok uh, url the grok api.grok.com slash v1 and the model is llama 38 billion one so that's how you can create a model which we can then call using invoke function on it and over there you can give a string whatever string you want to give and the response will be ai message so you can access the content of that ai message so i asked it how how are you and it says that i'm just an ai so don't have a feelings or emotion like humans do but let me know how can i assist you today so that's how you can define llm next i have defined the schemas for our structured output for our structured output objects so for that uh, I have used uh, langchain code.pydentic underscore v1 and from there I have imported base model and field. So whatever class we define that will be extending base model and uh, then we will have some document uh, document string uh, where we will specify what this particular class will hold. So this information will be given to LLM and it will help us properly generate the inputs for this class. So this class has uh, three variables, name, age, and height. Name is string, age is integer, and height is string. And height is also optional field. So this uh, things, uh, so 
the pydentic what it does it's a validation framework so whenever you try to create an object or person it will check that the name is string age is integer and height is a string so when our llm is genetic structure data and creating object of this particular class it will check that whether it has a given proper argument with proper data type or not so that's the person so it's a simple person object with uh, three attributes and next i have defined the people object so again extending base model and the people object is nothing but a list of a person objects as you can see there is only one attribute people and it's a list of person so these two schemas we will be giving to our llm to generate a structured output so after we have defined our llm and defined the schemas we can force our llm to output the response in particular format of that schema so in order to do that i will call the method name with structured output which is available through the llm object the llama3 object chat open ai which we created and in that uh, method call i will provide the schema so person is the class which i have provided over here and then the output will be structure llm so that's a structure llm now we can call this uh, particular llm with the input data and structured data and the output of this call will be some structured output so as you can see over here i have called structured llama 3 dot invoke so invoke method we can call and over there we can provide string so i have provided a simple string that anna is 20 years old and 5 foot 5 inch and the output as you can see is a person object with all the attributes set properly that name is anna age is 20 which is integer and height is 5 foot and 5 inch which is string again so that's how you can generate uh, structured output you just need to call this function with structured output on the original llm and then it will return an uh, llm based on this uh, particular schema and will generate output for that schema so next i have again called with structured output but this time with people because i want to generate a list of people so now generally you might give a lot of structured data and there will be many persons available in that uh, particular schema so next i have invoked the uh, llama 3 structure llama 3 with this again same string and i is 20 years old and 5 foot 5 inch and output this time is a people object with attribute people set to list of persons and this time there is only one person because we uh, we provided information for only one person which is anna so that's a person object inside of the people object in the next line I'm again calling the invoke, but this time I have provided information for two person. One is for Anna, and the another one is for the Sam, which is 25 years old and 5 foot 10 inch. And as you can see from the output, it's a people object with list of person object. But this time there are two person objects. One person object uh, representing Anna, and another person object representing Sam. So yeah, that's how you can generate a structured output the in the pydenting class format using uh, langchain so in the next section i have explained how you can generate a json output so till now we generated a pydentic object so python objects python class objects next let me explain you how you can generate a json output so for any any pydentic class which we define person and people if you want to retrieve schema you can call the schema function on it and it will return you a dictionary where the schema information is available so title of the class description that what this class represents its object type and what are the properties so name title is name description name of the person and what is the type then age height and required are name and age so this schema is available to us now we can pass this schema to llm and ask it to generate the output json in this format so that's what i have done next so first of all i have imported prompt template to define a prompt template for this uh, llm so this time we are using a prompt based approach as i explained from three as these three approaches now i will try prompting based approach so over here i have defined a simple prompt saying from using the prompt template dot from template method of that particular class that you are an expert data parser parse data from user query use this schema so over here in schema we will provide this schema for person and then for people 
respawn only as json based on above mentioned schema strictly follow json schema and do not add any extra fields if you don't know any field then set it to none so if there is no information about particular field then it will be set to none and then the query so over here the structure unstructured data input that we will provide will go over here so then i have defined the length chain chain so the length chain chain can be defined this way so first is a prompt and then there is a pipeline pipeline character followed by our llm which is llama 3 so this prompt will be given with schema and query and that will generate the prompt that prompt will be given to llm llama 3 and llama 3 will generate some output and that output will be passed using simple json output parser class so i have imported it from the output parsers from length chain core so generally output of llm is string and the simple json output parcel will parse it in a json format so first of all let's invoke this llm so it's a length chain chain and we can again call it using invoke method and this time we call it with uh, dictionary and we need to provide two variables schema and query so query is again same and is 20 years old and the schema is person dot schema json so schema as you can see we can access schema this way and if we call schema underscore json method then it will return a schema as a string json string so both of this will be provided here here then the prompt will be created and that prompt will go to llm and as you can see from the response the output is json it's a dictionary and over here name Anna age is 20 again integer and height is again string so it properly parts the input data based on this provided schema person then next you can access schema for people as well so this is the schema for people and over here as you can see it's a list of persons so it's a type is array and so on so this information will be given to llm to generate a list of people so again i can call llm with the invoke method and query is again same but schema this time i have provided schema for people instead of person so output this time is again a dictionary but it is of a people object so it is of type people so key is people and the value is a list of persons so list of again dictionaries each dictionary representing individual person so this time there is only one person anna with age and this information so that's how you can invoke with people so in the next line i have again invoked our length chain chain and but this time i have invoked it with a long string so this time i have provided information for uh, two people anna and sam and the output is again a dictionary with the people string and the value is a list with two dictionaries one dictionary representing anna and the another one representing sam so these were the small examples if you want uh, long unstructured data with many paragraphs you can give it as as well so that's what i have tried i have tried over here the long paragraph uh, so it's not actually paragraph but many lines and each individual line is representing individual person so n is 20 years old 5 foot uh, 5 inch and i have provided some extra information as well like she lives in uk and currently she is working as a marketing manager so there is some extra information and we can again invoke our llm so this time query will be query this string big string and people dot schema json will be the schema and from output as you can see output is a dictionary with the people key and then there are list of persons so it properly identify each person that anna is 20 years old sam is 25 donna is 35 jack is 45 and properly identified the heights of each person as well though we provided this extra detail like where they live and what they are currently doing it did not consider that information and that happened because of this uh, particular output parser which we have included so if we don't include the, uh, this output parser and create a chain with only prompt and llama 3 then the output will be different so that's what i have tried to explain over here so this time i have created a small chain so prompt followed by llama 3 and again invoked our uh, this lang chain chain with the query which is this query this uh, string and people dot schema and if you see the content of this uh, output you can see that it's saying that here is the past data in json format based on provided schema 
so this is the output generated by it and as you can see along, apart from name age and height it also included description and note that i have followed the schema's requirements and only included the required fields i also said unknown fields to none as per the schema now when this uh, this input will go to simple json output parcel it will check the schema and it will remove this field description all right so it's uh, that simple to generate a structured output from text from unstructured data using open source llm we use llama 3 from grok for our purpose and for coding we use llm framework langchain so if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and see you next time